Hey everybody, welcome back. Behind the bar with me this evening. Not from behind the bar. Uh, anyways, I haven't done a video in a really, really long time for a lot of reasons, uh, but that doesn't matter. What people have been asking, I have been getting peppered with messages and emails and the like um, for people asking what the hell is going on, where are your videos? So I decided tonight I wanted to do one, I uh, want to get it uploaded and then I got to work on editing a podcast after this too because I got to get that up. Um, if you haven't been listening to Joe and I's podcast, that's still going strong and we recorded one a couple days ago and I got to get that up. But let's review some beer. Tonight we are doing, uh, I've done a lot of their beer on my channel, Prairie Artisan Ales bourbon paradise so this is their bourbon barrel aged uh, imperial stout aged with coconut and vanilla so sounds delicious get that into a glass see what we got going on pours out just like uh, most of the bomb and prairie beers um pitch black not a lot of head um, but a half finger of just kind of uh Kind of almost soda-like bubbles. Um, doesn't look too crazy or anything in the glass, but typical stout. Let's dive in, see what she smells like. Just big, like, coconut cake frosting. Just, like, vanilla barrel. There's some tannins in there. A little dark fruit. Um, fig raisin. Oh, but huge, like just a huge sweetness. I don't know if you've had um, just OG Paradise, the non bourbon barrel age, which I love that beer. If you get a chance to pick that up, it's sitting on shelves most everywhere across the country that gets prairie. Um, I think it's better than Bomb personally, but Bomb's still amazing as well. But amazing beer. Um, and this is um, just having a bourbon barrel aged version of that is amazing. So let's see what she tastes like. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah. Just big. First off, this is a bourbon barrel aged beer. She's not messing around at 15.9%, so don't drink many of these. Um, it's big, it's big barrel, it's a boozy beer. Um, it has, <laughs> pardon the language, it has some balls behind it. Uh, it is, it's got Big barrel, dark fruit, raisins, dark like marish, dark cherry, chocolate covered cherries, um, and then there's just this amazing coconut vanilla like sweetness. Yeah, just like like a dark chocolate. And this beer doesn't have chocolate in it, but you get I get some chocolate notes. It's almost like there's there's like a dark chocolate, dark fruit like covered cake um it, it's just it's like the, if you've ever had um what was the beer vanilla shake barrel aged vanilla shake like that was like vanilla cake frosting with just like boozy vanilla cake frosting almost extract dish this is kind of the same way yeah it's just huge coconut huge vanilla and there's just some nice barrel sweetness incredible beer um the only thing i'll say about it and i say this i actually say this about most prairie stouts it's, it's a little thin for a big bar barrel aged out. You know, some of them these days are getting thicker and thicker. Um, and Prairie usually is pretty bad at that. I actually did have Pirate Noir um, over the weekend and last week as well. And that beer is like chewy thick. So it sounds like that maybe they're, they're getting that down as well. Um, it was incredible. But this is amazing, guys. Um, this is... Yeah, as it warms, it gets even more. That vanilla comes through even more. It just kind of coats the inside of your mouth. It's just incredible, amazing stuff. Um, as far as a grade, um, AA plus, like 99. I mean, it's it's upper A's, guys. It, it's right there, it's bordering on hundreds. I just wish it was a little thicker. Um, but as far as prairie beers go, and I like Pirate Paradise a little bit more, but that's considered maybe Prairie's best beer. Um, and then at the same time, I, I the Pirate series, their rum barrel stuff I actually like a little bit better than their bourbon barrel stuff, but they're all nitpicking world-class stouts in my opinion the most underrated brewery in the country is prairie um, they're putting out consistent on the shelf amazing barrel aged stouts like nobody else in my opinion so that'll do it thanks for coming behind the bar everybody i'm glad to be back look for me to be doing some more videos and i'm gonna be doing some different stuff on the channel too that i've been talking about with a few people so um we'll leave it there so thanks for the likes subscribes and comments till next time